Can you uh, give me a tour of the house? Yes. I'll start with the best part. This here. No light here. No, it's okay. This. Oh, wait. No. Can you see it? This kind of here. I'll name it soon. Well, it's called soon? No, I'll name it. <laughs> I'll name it soon. Like a Chinese name, no? No. I've been wanting a plant for so long. Okay, so that's our window. No thing, but we will have one soon. <laughs> yeah, uh, you have a. This is our kitchen where we spill lots of salt. How did that happen? Because we don't have dabbas to put our salt in, and so this fat packet is just sitting there unable to stand up, and it just fell. <laughs> What's the question? Give me a tour of the house. This is the hall, which is probably like a normal bedroom, but that's okay. And this is our bed. This is our bedroom. We need to like hold on to each other and sleep because there's two of us. Mm -hmm. But is it that cold? Or no, but that's just space. Because <laughs> you fall down. Oh, there's a window there. What is yeah. the point of that? Uh, I don't know, but we might put an AC there. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Not too big it's for like really AC. It's like really bright when we go to sleep. It's yeah. kind of what about curtains? We need. No, that's a curtain rod. Oh, what are those things up there? Uh, that's our luggage and that's a fan which we need to clean. What? You you own a fan? No, that, it, it came with the house. Oh. What is that? What kind of fan is it? Plug it in and it works. Suspicious fan. We've never seen a fan like that. Why is there no mirror on this? I <laughs> wow. I don't this is know. helpful the, while filming the though. Whole, the whole track <laughs> doesn't have a single mirror. Yeah, actually, it would be nice. <laughs> wow. Where do you get these tools? They came here also prayer. There's another one under the out now actually. There's so many. Three, three, four came with the house. Why do you have tube lights? What do you because prefer? Tube cheaper. lights or the yellow lights? Tube lights, they're cheaper. What? The yellow lights are quite cheap. No, the really this is a hundred watt bulbs. The yellow transparent ones. The old school. The, this one, wait, actually, oh no, this she, she unscrewed and put it in the bathroom because the bathroom was not bright enough. But that, this is 100 watts. So this is really bright. So maybe. Yeah, this one. What, this is costly? I don't know that. Uh, <laughs> everything will sound dumb. Yeah, exactly. But that's not the point. Because, like, the reasons are not dumb, it'll just sound dumb. Wait. What's the question? Why? <laughs> it's oh pretty no, simple. Why do I need to be here? Yeah. Uh, because I like who I am. I'm here. So are you a different person? Like if you are somewhere else? Yeah, everybody's a different person when they live at home. Like in their parents' house. Uh -huh. Why not somewhere separate in Bangalore itself? Uh, okay. You know a pigeon is the same thing as a dove. What? You know a pigeon is the same thing as a dog? No, it's not, I guess. I've been wondering that for a very long time. Oh, it's probably a different species. I, I don't think it is. I, I think that it's just... Mm -hmm. ...portrayed in the So, like, if we throw a pigeon... It feels no. Is it? Not really. No. If you throw a pigeon, 
as a sign of peace that will, will that do? No, it doesn't, but that's the sad part because it's the same thing as a love. Except pigeons in Portuguese are literally like the, the word in Portuguese for pigeons is like the something the la sierra, which means the rats of the sky, like the literal translation of the word for pigeons. What of the sky? Rats. Rats of the sky. Yes. What That's is the Portuguese word? What is the word for doves? I don't know. Shamas. Yeah. yeah. Probably the Portuguese you know the answer to these questions. I'm trying to make films. Mm -hmm. We did a kind of writing today, kind of. Yeah, where? In Gondi, there is a... Uh, God. Like I went there and I was like, oh God, I can feel the Tharavi <laughs> sentiments coming back. And uh -huh. I was like, I'm stepping into very dangerous territory and I should just run away and go do something else. But I've said that to myself like mm -hmm. for many years and I'm just not that bad. So but it was fun, like, there is some, uh, this, the Mumbai Environmental Social Network and the BMC are planning, like, uh, some park widening, drainage clearing, uh, like, I don't know, some, like, some vague redevelopment project which the Mumbai Mirror just kind of talked about very interestingly. Mm -hmm. So we just went to see and there was some work going on and like I met some kids and I took out some nice photos. Okay. And I signed up there so that was fine. Positive energy is just bullshit. Right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 one minute. I have to say something, okay? Uh, say it. Say it. Say it. You're on camera. In your okay. heart. Hi. When I say this that your, your attitude in life mm -hmm. is just what matters the most because um, everyone is equally blessed with immense talent. Uh -huh. And not many people. Some people are bullshit for that. Yeah, yeah that's true. But what makes people succeed and what makes people happy is their attitude, and that's what we have to ask. True, true, right. Totally. Let's love this bullshit. Why do you realize why? Why does that have to be meaning? What? Come again. So, why does it have to? Why? Why does meaning mean happiness? Why can't we just realize that everything's bullshit and still be happy anyway? Like why Sartre. Do you have to one minute. Exactly. <laughs> Why do you have to look at bullshit as bullshit and other people? No, my point is that why can't you look at like bullshit itself as something that's, that's beautiful? Because life is, life is meant to have, no matter what happens to you, everyone's life is different. You never know where life's gonna take you. And even if you're perhaps doing the most menial activity, you still need to be happy. You still, you still need to live life. The maximum. Yeah, that's true. I that's, what, that's what I like about people like who are energetic about life, who are happy, whoever they are. You might have a really tiny house with a few belongings. The thing is, we are our own people. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 yeah
Yep. Right? Like the the white one is Light and then there was light. What just broke? I don't know what is it. Oh, I think it's one of the rum bottles. But I was in Calgary for like four months, so I, I don't I don't know, I don't remember. But like I remember that the first day that I went, like I don't know if it's because I had a camera or what like but people just like come, follow you and like they answer all your questions very very nicely. And like, yeah, I might be generalizing, but like, they were just really helpful. Like, they were just like. In Dharavi. Oh, yeah, here also. Okay. Like, even today, the kids would just follow me and be like, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? What's mm -hmm. this for? And they would want to see all my photos. Yeah. And then I asked them about the drains, and they were like, yeah, yeah, and like, all plots. Oh. Did their answers feel genuine? Way to be genuine types. Like uh -huh. it's just like, yeah, like just the way. First thoughts. Yeah, yeah, first thoughts are genuine. Like I don't know. I don't know. Because there was this one time in Church Gate Station only, some guy saw me and he had like a really awesome, he had that telephone and then the digital Sony camera, that awesome thing. He was like, I'm a professional doctor, and I was like, oh, okay. And he was like, I like your like, dress, like I was wearing some, some funky thing. About? Like why does he want to my food? But I know now like when I'm saying it it seems like really ridiculous. Like why would I feel confused? But I ask the same thing of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And most people are very obliging. So like did you think that it was a different situation? No, it's not between you and him and like earlier like when you didn't call. As in when I said when I didn't call the call. Yeah. I must have, I don't know, I must have just been like, but why does, like, there's nothing that, like, like, what is it about me that he wants to shoot? Mm. Like, yeah. And then I just didn't bother. <laughs> no, I feel really crappy about it. Do you plan on calling him? Like, I don't have his number anymore. I would okay. have. How long back was it? This is like a year ago. Oh. It's too long, man. Yeah. Why did you plan to stay with Nishta? Because we walked together. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We just never really considered not living together. Because it's just convenient. Especially if you're not in an office. Mm -hmm. So it's just good to have. I don't know. Like Every step had like this little moment which I just really badly wanted to take a photo of but like I don't know I'm just really slow with the camera or like there'll be someone in the way or something and it's just not like it's just it just feels like a very ugly thing to do to kind of make it by like the camera but I guess I don't know it was really weird but like I saw this tiny child just like this big kind of tall somewhere and his mom was pulling it back by the ankles and it continued to crawl like with its hands, mm -hmm. it's a bit wasn't moving and it was really cute and I saw this uncle eating like a tomato like just, just out of, like a whole tomato and it was like right, right like I don't know, everything else like I saw it like against the wall maybe mm -hmm. everything else was like this dusty grey there was this bright red tomato like one bite taken and it was like dripping and it looked really good mm -hmm. but then it was just gone, I don't know, somebody walked in front of me and it was just gone I don't know, lots of such moments came. And everything is like really brightly colored. Yeah. So like the kids who kept wanting 
photos, like I made them stand in front of nice colored walls and I took their photos and stuff. What do you think, what is the best medium for you to capture these moments? Is it photographs or films or like writing something about it? What do you feel captures the essence Which best? Moments, like the ones you are talking about? No, it's not the moments which decide the medium. Yeah, like, yeah. The, so, whichever, like I, I write because like I have to. What would you I prefer write? though? Like, what would you think would do justice what to do your you what do you mean? Uh, I didn't experience these moments, sir. Huh? So, no, but you experience other moments. Uh -huh. So what do you prefer? I prefer film, so and writing. <laughs> no, no, I think that no. Obviously, if I just if I process. The moment as a visual moment, I, I need a camera, but like there are popular, many experiences which are processed as like in poetry or prose, which okay. obviously means that it's not going to help to have a camera, like you can't separate the experience from the... What, what are the difference between these experiences? Like, Will you really hear anything with the time? Yeah. What is the... Actually, yeah. Can I switch it off? No, no, it's okay. What is the... Difference between these moments, like what you write about and what you take pictures of. Because I just like taking photos if it's like visually appealing. Like I don't really try and like penetrate the soul of anything with uh -huh. a photograph. Because I can't. Like I don't know how to, I, I don't know. Okay. I don't think like that. So in that way, yeah, I probably is. Like I probably have a And like, like, like when I write, I'm like trying to like solve something. Uh -huh. But also, just like you're not doing justice, right? Like you're not giving these experiences for no reason.